Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for January. This is my second January reading. I'm just going to keep doing them. Um, so I'm going to tag the first one to the end of this. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love and relationships, okay? So that's what it is. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. This is for people that have questions, they're struggling, you know, something like that. Aries, what does Aries need to know for any time in January? If this doesn't resonate right now, it may resonate later. Because this is for the whole month of January. That means it could resonate like on the 10th or the 3rd or the 24th or the 30th okay or any time in between it could resonate now it's being recorded on December 30th it could resonate any at any day in January The Eight of Cups reversed. You know, somebody may be trying to make a decision, thinking about whether they want to leave or not. You know, this is what's going on. Do I, do I want to stay or do I want to go? Or they may be thinking about going back. The Eight of Cups reversed. We forgot to get one starter. We're going to get one of these. So we're just going to keep that. But we're going to get one of these first. So yeah, somebody is trying to make a decision right now about whether they should stay or whether they should go in the process. Should I stay or should I go? But thinking about it either way. You know, really thinking about walking away. There's a lot of memories that are at the surface too because we have the six of cups these are six seven eight but six over here they somebody is clinging to the memories of the past and that could be why they're staying in a situation you know holding on to somebody you could be holding on to somebody from the past when you need to leave i mean that could certainly be the case i don't know or you could be thinking about going back to somebody in your past you know, think about, you may be thinking about reconciling. And maybe that's something you, I don't know, we're going to get a lot more cards. So, we got two, so we're going to have to take them both. Angel of love. Whatever's happening, you are being guided towards love. Period. Period. So rest assured, whatever is happening, you are being divinely guided towards love, towards healing, towards self-love, towards the ultimate love. So whether you go or you stay, whatever's happening, the angels from above are guiding you. They're guiding you towards love. Trust. Believe. Um, now, 9 plus 4 is 13. 1 plus 3 is a 4. That's an angel. <laughs> so yeah, a 4 is our angel. So you are absolutely being... You have an angel around you. Believe it. You do. You have an angel around. Oh, but you're still attached to somebody from the... You're, still, you're attached to something. And you need to detach. You need to take off that mask. You need to accept the truth. And you need to break, break free. It's like a grave situation. It's like you're you're choosing to be locked up. You're choosing to stay stuck. You are. You're choosing. You're choosing to stay stuck in a space that you don't need to be. I mean, look at the surroundings. It's so gray. It's so dark. You are being guided to remove yourself from this dark situation. 
There's no doubt about it. You guys are, I'm going to have to get another, another stand of some sort. I don't know if I can make this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I should have just left it alone, huh? That work? That works. Okay. So, um, let's see. Improvise. I'm improvising, right? Everything that happens during a reading of mine is for you. From the moment I start talking in my dailies, in my weeklies, you know, my singles, whatever, the minute I start talking, you need to really listen. Read between the words, read between the lines, look at all the signs, okay? Everything that happens is part of the reading. Mmm. So, you guys may be hanging on to something that is no longer compatible. There's something you're attached to that is not healthy. Okay? It's not healthy. It's not. You need light. Sunlight. You need light. You need happiness. You need you need color in your life and I think that you're in a situation and that's why the angels are here because you are you it's like you're thinking about removing yourself from something but for some reason you haven't quite done it yet this is incompatibility there's been a lot of fighting there's been fighting there's been a lot of arguing or there's been some and it's like there's you're just not compatible and this person they may not be reciprocating the way they used to or you may not be you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and she's not offering any love. She's not. She's got her hand over the cup. She's not really reciprocating. She's got her hand over the cup. She's holding back her love, whoever this woman is. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It can be any woman, but we have somebody here that is not reciprocating. They're holding back their love, you know? And look at the look on her face. It's like she's she's just kind of conceited. She's very conceited. She's like, she thinks that... She's proven something. She's proving something. I don't know what the hell she's trying to prove, but... Um, I'm gonna get some more cards. You may be, you may feel like this is this is overwhelming to you that you you can't you don't want to fight with this woman or this person. This person is not reciprocating. They're not allowing their love to flow, and you may be like, "Why am I even here? Why am I even putting in effort? Why am I even fighting for this?" And like I said, something, I don't know if I did say it, but I was thinking it's like something's been turned upside, the love has been turned upside down. It's like there's no more love here. And you may, and there's been fighting, and it feels like this woman is, she may use silent treatment as a tactic, you know. Um, and you may feel like you're being attacked by this woman, mentally attacked, verbally attacked, or... Your energy has been sucked by this woman. I don't know what's going on here. I turned upside down for sure. Something has been turned upside down. Huh. Criticism. She's she's judging. She's judging you. She's she's very you're being judged by this woman, and that's why, and she's, she's trying to prove something. If you are the woman watching this, you gotta open your heart. You gotta open your heart, instead of being so critical. We have a woman here that is being too critical. She's being too judgmental, and she's causing the other person to feel 
not loved, that's for goddamn sure. If you are the man watching this, this is the woman that you are dealing with. She is critical, she is judgmental, and she's just being a bitch. Just saying. And you may be thinking, you know what, I, 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 this is fucking amazing. I'm sorry to swear, but, um, I can't help myself. If it comes out, it comes out. Like I said, every word comes out, comes out. You may think, you know what, I got better. I got something better. I know I got something better. All I have to do is make a choice. I have to make a decision to, because the lover's car is a choice. It really is. It's a choice between two lovers. And you got one here that's not working out. You're not compatible with. And you, this is why you're thinking. You're thinking. You're like, you got these memories with this person. But it's like, I, I want I want love. I want I want my perfect match. And you, and you notice the light, the, the, the blessing, the blessing, the light, the, 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 the gold that comes at the end of the, the rainbow. You have another opportunity here. This is, this is being brought to you from heaven. It really is. Um, it looks as though you, uh, an angel is guiding you towards a perfect match, but you're going to have to make a decision to walk away from this one that you're not compatible with anymore. This is a true soulmate connection, but free will always plays a part and you're still attached to the wrong one. Oh, jeez. Um, whether it's mentally attached or physically attached, you're attached to somebody who's not even reciprocating. And it's, they're misjudging, they're, they're, they're being very critical of you, and you know that you have something better. You do, you do, you do. And this angel is trying to get you to detach from this wrong one because you have somebody that is absolutely perfect for you. Where you can be yourself. It's a true blessing. They're trying to bless you. They're trying to bless you with this new connection. But again, you have to make a choice. And you're going to have to choose, you know, between the, the, the past. Remember I said the Six of Cups is in this card right here? The one that you're still attached to and this new love because this new one is more... I mean, just take a look at it. It's so... It's so much better. I mean, the grass is greener. The... the it's wish fulfillment. That's the star. It's it's true wish fulfillment. But you're gonna have to. Uh... Oh God! Let go of the shady, sneaky individual that you're hanging on to. You're dealing, you're, and you're only deceiving yourself. You got the seven of swords here. You are you are deceiving yourself by thinking that you can go back and you can fix this. That's that's a lie. It's a lie. Take what you got. Take what. Take it and go. Take it and go. Um, you're dealing with a a wolf in sheep's clothing. You are with this person. You really are. Oh God. I'm, you have an opportunity again. See, this is the same person. You see, their hands are tied together. These one, this one's not. You have a soulmate. You have a soulmate waiting for you. And then this angel is trying to bring you together with this soulmate. This person is going to make you very, very, very happy. It's a divine connection. It really is. But right now you're cheating yourself of this connection. You are cheating, because this is cheating, because you're dealing with somebody who's not reciprocating. And you need to release it. The Nine of Swords reverse. This is release it. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of the person that perhaps you're committed to this person and, you know, now you're stuck. But again, release. These are both release. Let go. And you may, you know... It's time to be, it's it's really time to be loved. It's time. It's time for you to feel love. It's time for you to get reciprocation. You know, you don't need, you shouldn't have to sit here and beg for it. You shouldn't have to beg for love. You haven't been receiving attention from this person. Not much. 
This person is preoccupied and, and this angel is trying to guide you towards something much, much better suited for you. There's, this is no joke. This is absolutely no joke. You deserve love, and I'm, I just got to really, re really reiterate that. You deserve love. You deserve love. You don't deserve to be alone. Whew. You know, and there's probably going to be a reunion. There's probably going to be a reunion with somebody past life, a past life connection. That's what I think this is. I think that you are going, you are being led or a past relationship even, somebody from way back, way, 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 way back. Because that's, that's what I feel. I think that there, there could be a reunion with somebody that you knew a long time ago, a long time ago, like in your, oh, early adulthood, maybe even your teens. That you may, and it, they may be trying to reunite you with this person. This could even be a past life connection. I feel as though you need, but you need to release the one that is not reciprocating first. Because you're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself of a divine partnership. You are. Fighting with somebody who... <laughs> It's so cold. It's cold. You're dealing with a cold-hearted individual. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But it's the truth. Now, I feel as though you are probably... If you're single. If you're single and you're watching this. And you, and you don't know who I'm talking about. You are going to meet somebody. You are going to meet somebody at some sort of... These are both celebrations. They are. You're going to meet somebody at a celebration. You are. You're going to meet somebody. And that's when you're going to, you're going to realize. You're going to realize that this is your perfect match. See, and this is going to happen unexpectedly. Now, this person that you are going to run into, whether you are... Whoever this is for. This could... Because I see that there's probably going to be a breakup here. There's going to be a split of some sort. This is like a split. There's probably going to be a split. So, whoever this is, you are going to meet somebody else. You're going to meet somebody who is a perfect, perfect match. But this perfect match does not fit the usual description. This person does not look like your usual type. This person does not act like your usual type. This person is not your usual type. But you're going to notice the connection instantly. Instantly. So, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Um... And it's gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feel like you're walking on air. You are gonna feel like you are walking on air when you finally connect with this person. Um, and you're gonna, you're, you're going to the 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 depression that you have held on to is gonna start to dissipate. This person's gonna help. This is a healing. Okay, the star is healing. This person is gonna help you to heal immensely from this person that did not reciprocate. There's going to be a, like a, a healing that starts and it's just going to get better and better and better and better. Um, but you have to take the first step. You, because this is the first step. Right now you're just thinking about it. Yeah, and while you're thinking about this person not reciprocating, you're thinking about love, right? You're thinking about what love is. And they hear you. They hear you and they see that you're attached, whether it's mentally or physically, you're attached to the wrong one. And they're gonna they're gonna help you to move forward, they are. Because they think that you deserve, like I just said, you deserve. You are going to receive a golden opportunity of a lifetime. This is something that is going to last. This is something that is solid. This is something that is secure. This is something that you can really hold on to. It's this is something that you will not have to worry about losing. It's a it's an opportunity of a lifetime. So yeah, you guys are going to receive a true gift, a true blessing, and that's no joke. But you're, you may have to let go of your, some of your responsibilities. And I, you know, and you probably, <gasps> you know, for a connection to deepen, 
you know, you can't focus only on work. You can't focus only on money. You can't focus only on job. And now I have to say it, tell you, I just, this just came to me as I put this right here. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. This woman, whoever this person is, she may be only focused on your money. Son of a bitch. Be careful. You could be dealing with a woman, especially if you're the Aries man. You could be dealing with a female that is only focused on your coin. If you are the Aries woman, you could be dealing with a man that is only focused on his coin. Somebody is only focused on their coin. They're not focused on love. Be careful. Be really careful because when you don't, you don't allow love to, to, to flow, you cheat yourself. You cheat yourself. You get robbed. You get robbed of, of happiness. You get robbed of content. You get robbed of happily ever after. No joke. No joke. So be careful. with your. This is a choice. You're going to have an opportunity for love. You are. You are, but you might think, I'm too busy. i got to work. I don't have time for this. Okay. All right. Then you're going to lose an opportunity of a lifetime. Don't stay where you're at just because of money. That's what I'm here to say. Money is a big factor here. It's causing a lot of unhappiness. You can't take that money with you. You have an opportunity for love. Something that is, is so big. This is going to bring you abundance. This relationship that you are going to meet up with is going to bring abundance. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you a golden opportunity. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be abundant. So don't worry about what you're going to lose financially with this person or whatever, or what you're going to lose financially at all. Don't worry about that. You're going to, you're going to get exactly what you need. Exactly. <sighs> but you could end up throwing away something really good. You really could because you don't have faith because of, you don't believe. Maybe you're not quite aware. Maybe you're not aware that money isn't the, the only thing. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Maybe you maybe you won't get the love of your life because you choose the wrong thing. I mean, I can't pretend. I mean, the, the star reverse is loss of faith. There's lack of faith. There's lack of hope. There's lack of desire. There's lack of lack of awareness. It's like if you know, you don't get wish fulfillment if you don't make a wish, if you don't if you don't dream. You know, but I think that you guys are dreaming. I think that you are dreaming. You're dreaming of this soulmate connection. I do. And I think that you are going to be given an opportunity to accept a soulmate connection. But you may not believe it. You may This may be too, too good to be believe, right? Maybe that's what you think. Maybe this comes in and it's like, oh my God, this is, this is unbelievable. This is too good to be true. And you think it's too good to be true because it's so freaking good. You know what I mean? And then you might decide, you know, I'm going to bury myself in everything but this because I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So you may, you may, you know, if you are the Aries man, you may be like, no, I'm not ready for love. I'm not ready for love. My heart ain't ready for love. I don't want love. You may be closed off emotionally. You may be only staying wherever you're at right now. Wherever you're at right now, just for the money. Nuts, if that's it. And I have to tell you that probably whoever you're with, they're staying for the same reason. It doesn't look like there's love between the two of you. I think that there's a uh, new love here that's wanting to come in. The angels are trying to lead you, but you're attached. The angels are trying to lead you to love, but you're attached. And you could be attached to a financial situation that is hindering your your ability to love it's you're hindering your ability to even look for love you know your ability to even believe in love you're attached to something it could be it could be money it could be it could be a job or it could be another person who has money you know what i mean and you're staying with that person because of their money 
whatever the case is, you're being called to make a better decision, make a choice. There's consequences. The lovers is a lovers card is a card of consequences. There's an there's an opportunity for love here, but you have to realize is realize the consequences of your choice. You have to make a choice. Do you choose love or money? So Aries, I feel as though you may be feeling a little emotionally withdrawn because you're in the process of making a decision. Which route do I go? Do I allow love into my life or do I protect myself and stay right where I'm at? You have an opportunity with a perfect match that you are going to come into contact with. It's being divinely guided. My advice is to take this opportunity for love because it is going to be abundant. It's going to pay off. It is absolutely going to pay off. Take the new love. Let go of this attachment that is dark and gray. Let go of it. That's what I have. Talk to you next time.